Welcome to the King's Corner North in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is the place for all things Bethesda. While I'm here, I am the King Fan Man. You know, I've heard several people since Fallout 76 was revealed talking about the fact that Fallout 76 having no human NPCs means it will have no good story. Or even as one pretty famous YouTuber recently stated, it will take away some of the most basic elements of the RPG. He went on to say, with no NPCs, and I'm going to try to shorten his statements just a little bit, that the world would lose its illusion of feeling lived in, or being an actual place in our minds. That the towns would feel desolate, and the only dialogue you could expect to have is with other players. And you could say goodbye to a player-given quest. Now, since this seems to be a concern that keeps coming back, I wanted to address it and to give it a full video. You know, I couldn't disagree more with what this YouTuber stated about no NPCs. In fact, I believe no NPCs will give Fallout 76 the chance to be the best role-playing Fallout yet. If you want player choice and replayability, which I would say those three things, player choice, role-playing, and replayability, are what makes a great RPG. I think I can show you how those three things will thrive in Fallout 76. But before I make my case, I must make one quick point. One thing that bothered me most of all about this recent somewhat famous YouTuber who posed his concerns over Fallout 76 was in the comment section. As I read through comment after comment of people saying they would not play Fallout 76 because of what this YouTuber said. Now let me just give one example. This comment said, Shame. I was looking forward to exploring West Virginia. Oh well, back to the Mojave Wasteland I go. Now, no one should ever let a YouTuber have this much sway over them. But, we do have influence. That's why it is very important that we YouTubers make sure we are correct in what we present. This one negative video caused many, apparently, who were wanting to play Fallout 76, who now won't. So I stay as positive as I can. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times to call something out as wrong as I am doing today. But I am very positive about, about Fallout 76. So let's talk about why it's going to be an awesome RPG, as I truly think it is going to be. Okay, let me begin by saying Fallout 76 will have NPCs. Well, maybe I should even start a little more basic than that, because I don't want anyone to not play Fallout 76 because someone scared them away. NPC stands for non-player character. Fallout 76, as everyone knows by now, will have many, many robots, as has been seen in the trailers, in and around Vault 76, around the Greenbrier Hotel, and available in the camp system, and I'm sure in many other places. We have also been told that the Scorched, which replaced the ghouls in the previous game, are not nearly as feral. They can use weapons, and will be used like raiders in the other games. It would not surprise anyone to run into a Scorched who could talk and give you a quest or two. There also could be an intelligent or semi-intelligent super mutant, as I have stated many times. I also think Bethesda has some surprises up their sleeve. Harold has been rumored to make an appearance. He, of course, is the tree in Fallout 3. Maybe even a few hidden enclave officers. But that's just my idea, so don't hold Bethesda to that. The point is, the world map is full of NPCs, non-player characters made by Bethesda. And that's not to mention all of the real people running around, and that is where the true RPG comes into play. And all of the concerns of that YouTuber presented will crumble and fall. First, he said the world doesn't feel real and lived in. It feels empty. Well, a simple understanding of the time of Fallout 76 would help. It's only 25 years after the bombs have dropped, and Vault 76 is the first in the area to open. So other than the Scorched, who are people who lived through the war, 
there is no one else supposed to be in the world. So there is the first concern crumbled. Now in his second concern, he said without NPCs, the only dialogue you can expect to have is with other players. Now this is a legitimate concern, especially if you get other players who are not going for immersion, shall we say. However, if we do find other players who are genuinely role-playing, the dialogue you can have with a real human player cannot be compared with an in-game character. A real human can and will react in real time with what is going on with you at that moment. They can talk in-depth about challenges in the game, enemies, creatures, quests. In fact, you can have an endless conversation something that you could never do with an in-game character. I guess his concern is that no one is there to say things like, let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll, and that would just lose the immersion of West Virginia. Second concern crumbled. Finally, in his third concern, he said that you could say goodbye to player-given quests, which I think we've already said is not true. We believe that there will be Scorch who will give quests, the Overseer of Vault 76. Well, granted, she's a robo-brain of some sort, but let's don't get into the whole sense and robots or people thing. But really, what's the difference whether you get your quest from a robot, a holotape, a note, or a human NPC? Now wait before you answer. Let's really think about this. I know we all love Preston and his player-given quests. Just because a player gives it doesn't make it a good or bad quest. Again, the setting for the game dictate there are not as many people. Why is that such a problem? Who or what or where you get the quest doesn't make or break the quest at all. And quite frankly, I'm glad I don't have Preston to go back and report to in Fallout 76. Third concern crumbled. Now guys, I want to end with why No Human NPCs really gives Fallout 76 the chance to be the best true RPG in the Fallout franchise. Again, remember that the semi-famous YouTuber said that taking the human NPCs out takes some of the most basic elements out of an RPG. Now I believe what truly makes an RPG is the obviously the role-playing, the choice, and the replayability. Now, taking away the human NPCs is what really allows those three. Let me explain, and I'll try to be quick. I'll start with replayability. With real people as the NPCs, there will be different people in the world every time you play the game. So, every time you play, it will be very different. Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, every time you played it, even though it might be a little bit different, the endings might be a little different, it was a very similar game. Fallout 76, it will be a completely different game every time you play it. Every NPC, every non-player character, every human you come in contact with will act completely different in each playthrough. Now number two, player choice. In Fallout 4, of course, it was criticized, sometimes a little too harshly, for having no choice. How you interact with those NPCs in Fallout 76, again, will be different every single time. Now, I'm not even mentioning the quest built by Bethesda at all. I'm talking about how you interact with those human NPCs. Just think about the choices in the world because of those real human NPCs. By the way, it will also feel like a real world. The choices are unlimited. And number three, lastly and most important, role-playing. Fallout 76 is literally a role-player's dream. You can do anything and be anything. You want to be bad? Be a raider. Start a game. Terrorize the wasteland. You want to be a traitor? or maybe a sheriff who hunts those down who are being bad. You want to bring justice. Maybe you just want to build a home and survive. You can do it. The possibilities are truly endless, and that was not true in any other 
Fallout game. You know, when Fallout 76 was first teased, I was one who had a lot of concerns. As one who don't like online games at all, and one who loves Bethesda single player games, I had some very major concerns. But I researched, and I studied, and I researched some more, and I did all that before I said anything to you guys. And a strange thing happened. The more I learned about Fallout 76, the more excited I got. So I am so glad with all of my concerns, I never steered anyone away from the game. And I hope my excitement and my optimism has at least calmed some of your fears and maybe, just maybe, some of you are as excited as I am because I cannot wait for this October. Hey, y'all be sure to go check out my Patreon page. The link is down below in the description. I just uploaded some cool stuff over there and I could really, really use the help. I would really appreciate it if y'all go check it out. So from Grand Rapids, Michigan, that's where I am this week, I am the King Fan Man. I'll see you guys next time.